Hey folks, so this is just a short video uh, showing some progress that I've been working on in my learnings, I suppose you could say. I've been working on putting together these Easy Flash 3 add-on boards for Commodore 64, and they have some very fine pitch components, such as this 14x14 14 14, uh, TQFP100, that's 100 pins. And I've done some SMD uh, soldering in the past, but this is quite clearly the the finest pitch uh, component I've ever done and as you can see I'm still learning so what I'm what I'm doing here is effectively learning on the go while I'm trying to put the actual hardware that I'm using together um, so yeah this is basically just a video of me going through the process of trying to figure out how to you know perfect drag soldering not even perfect just figure it out um, so I, what I'll do here is just kind of explain my thought process while I'm going through this um, that initial one that you saw, that was both a combination of not enough flux and too much solder on the tip of my uh, soldering iron. So what I've done here is just added, taken the excess flux off with some solder wick, added some additional solder, uh, sorry, added some additional flux, and now I'm just going back through and dragging those pins out again just to make sure those uh, connections are re-flowed. Re so on the end there, still a bit too much solder. So what I need to do here is um, off screen I would be wiping down the tip of my iron so that there's a nice clean tip. And what actually happens right there was that when you apply enough heat, the solder actually just wants to flow to the hottest point, which in this case would be the end of the tip instead of the pins on the chip. So that's how that that amount of solder flows away. But if there's too much solder on your tip, or if there's not enough flux, you can't transfer that heat, the solder doesn't melt, and it, if there's too much solder, it just doesn't want to flow towards the existing pool of solder it wants to flow to, you know, the empty tip. So I had to, had to clean it off perfectly. So from that line, I'm now applying some additional learnings, trying it differently. So the, previously I was uh, vertically dragging, this time I'm horizontally dragging. And in this case, you can see I immediately start off with a couple of bridges. I'm moving nice and slow, and it's actually going pretty well, but then I get another bridge at the end. So again, a little bit too much solder on the end of my tip. So, And you can see there, that just kind of smeared, so that means there's just too much solder on my tip and a little bit too much, uh, not enough flux, sorry. So in this case, what I'm going to do is just get the get the uh, solder wick out and just try to pull those bridges completely off. And then we'll just reapply some flux on both sides there. Now I know there's still a bunch of solder on the end of my tip, so I'll just try and drag those back out again. That one's still unsuccessful, so what I'm doing here is just kind of cleaning my tip over and over to try to get that suction off. But it still doesn't want to come. So in this case, I'll just use the solder wick again and rip all that solder off and then do them again. A little bit more flux. Still some solder on the end of my tip, so then I will just start dragging again. I'm very sorry about the shaky cam, uh, my camera is zoomed in quite far. And you can see here I've got a nice steady pace and that reflow and they all look really good. So then I take those learnings that I've gotten from those two sides and apply them again to the last side here. Still heaps of solder on that tip, so I don't need to re reapply solder. Steady, even drag. And an almost perfect row. And then I'll just clean up that little dag on the end there, but otherwise I'm quite happy with how that one worked out. And then what I'll do is I'll pick up the board um, and just hold it at a little bit of an angle um, so that I can see at an angle whether those pins are actually adhered nice and properly, whether they've got too much solder, too little solder, whether, what I need, uh, whether I need to reflow any of them. But in this case, it actually looked pretty good. So 
Sometimes the camera needs a little bit of tweaking though. Uh, if I was doing quite a lot of these, I would probably want to get myself a proper microscope. In this case, I'm using an iPhone 8. Uh, zoomed in way too far. And uh, trusting my eyes, which, well, they're not great. A, micro a microscope would be much better. But otherwise, I have two other memory chips on this uh, board to do, and I will show those immediately after here and leave it with you. Enjoy!
Yeah. 